He's uh, he's been working on some of the coolest hairstyles I've seen That's since uh, since Bruce, a young Bruce Willis. Some people might call him a young Bruce Willis. Yes. Also might call him Mr. Bitter. How you doing, Ben? I'm doing good, man. I was uh, I was trying to go full Super Saiyan today, but Morgan <laughs> didn't Morgan didn't like it. You I had like that Gohan, like one strand of hair like coming down, and everything else is spiked up. I know, up. man. I was gonna come in tomorrow, bleach blonde. I was gonna power up on yeah. set. It was gonna be awesome. But no, well, you do have the rage to back it up, Ben. Apparently, I need a haircut, <laughs> which is what I keep getting told here at the studio. Aww. So I, I, act, I also need some I have, help. I have no room to actually say that. <laughs> 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 no, no, all the people uh, that have historically told me to get a haircut. I really past. do. I need some help here because I, I can barely dress myself in the morning, much less style my hair. So right. if anybody has some suggestions Just for me, tweet at you. Yeah, yeah shoot yeah. me a tweet. Maybe uh, PM me on Team Liquid. Have you ever had like super long hair like down your shoulders, I've like hippie, okay, like mullet? Okay, so here's I can imagine Ben with a mullet in the 90s. Here's a true story. When I was a kid, <laughs> uh, the Terminator movies were like my favorite movies ever. Like Terminator 2, when he goes into the lava and he thumbs up. Oh <laughs> man, I cried. I cried. Me but too. That's it, Andre. That's, that's it. also you the the Batman, <laughs> the Batman pose. If you guys ever seen Batman Forever with uh, Nicole Kidman and all that, he goes like this. That was Clooney, right? Oh. No, yeah. it wasn't George Clooney. No? Um, um, Nicole Kidman, Tommy Lee Jones, Jim Carrey. No. Uh, we'll never know. Goodness gracious, we'll never know. I forgot. I anyway, the worst I, one. I anyway so Terminator 2 was like my favorite movie of yeah. all time, and John Connor I thought was just the coolest little <laughs> rebel kid of all time. And I wanted John Connor hair, and it was basically a mullet. <laughs> and so Did you? So time and time <laughs> again, I tried... <laughs> Oh no! I don't like where this story. <laughs> time and time again, I tried to grow out a mullet, but like in the in the uh, at the at the phase of hair between like what I have now and the mullet, there's this really awkward like <laughs> <laughs> half long. It's like that. Just looks terrible. Oh gosh! It's and like that one kid pictures. that's trying to grow out their goatee, and it's just like beep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It, yeah. Uh, so, anyways, guys, uh, tweet me twittercom TV. I need some suggestions for new hairstyles. And uh, maybe I'll come in rocking something new and cool tomorrow. I uh, got some highlights from our games last Sunday. We're going to kick it off with Major versus uh, TT1. It's a really fun use of the yeah, spider yeah, mine. We're going to see Major, oh, or I guess it's the widow mine now. Uh, we're going to see Major making use of this unit a couple times throughout the course of this game. Major did, of course, win our Sunday showdown root battle royale. Walked away with $2,000. We had a great time having the root guys out, and it was just really, really fun to see some new play styles experimented with. Once again, Widow Mine's going to detonate on a bunch of sentries, and uh, Major will easily be able to clean up the remainder of this push after they've been so badly damaged. Uh, he goes on to win this game with a pretty standard Terran ar army composition. My favorite Spider or Widow Mine unit, God, i got to stop calling those Spider Mine, is, uh, is coming up here where you're going to see him run one into the mineral line. And uh, kill all of like two probes. <laughs> 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 it was uh, it was a good effort, Major, but this widow mine falls a little bit flat. <laughs> that said, he does go on to win the game, wins the series, takes two thousand bucks off of TT1, uh, who goes home with a thousand dollars, five hundred dollars given to Cats and to Vibe for coming out and spending some time with us. Up next, the Muslim versus Demaga, an incredible game. Dem uh, Demaga really has. He just puts on uh, a, a showcase of beautiful engagements. Here we see the Muslim pushing up to one of Damaga's expansions in the top left-hand corner of the map. Nice use of transfusion. Damaga really buying a lot of time here. He's eventually going to lose those queens and lose that expansion, but the trade-off is a great engagement. He's going to completely clean up and crush this army. And, you know, almost any time you see a Zerg kill a Terran army, you say, all right, Zerg's in a really good place in this game. But the Muslim's macro throughout this entire series was just incredible. Here's another really nice engagement from Damaga. Coming down from the top, if you're watching the mini-map, you can see a flanking force coming in from the bottom. There they are showing up on the screen. And again, Damaga is going to clean up a big Terran army. And you have to say to yourself, well, gee, this has to be really good for the Zerg player. But... Again, the Muslims macro does not miss a beat. I swear, I don't think he was over a thousand minerals uh, at, a, at a single point throughout this entire game. Uh, here, once more, Demaga's going to try to break the Muslim with good fungals. I mean, this looks like a fight he should he should lose, but the ultras, in conjunction with fungal growth, with what Zerglings he has, again kills the Muslim. But uh, once more, our Terran, the Devil Terran will rise up, and in this final engagement, Damaga will not be able to break out. This will be 
the GG moment. A great game and a fantastic series play between these two guys. If you haven't seen it, you need to go check it out. It's over at NASL.TV in our videos section. I think only subscri subscribers can access this VOD right now, so go pick up that HD pass if you haven't already. Our final highlight of Sunday's games comes from QXC versus Finale. Finale ultimately wins this series, but a great fake drop by QXC forces Finale to commit some units up into his main base while all of QXC's army is knocking at the front. And uh, some good stems, some good uh, control on those marauders, and QXC is going to just crush Finale's forces here at the front. Gets a little bit close uh, when uh, Finale pulls probes and fights with everything that he's got, but... QXC with more good control and with more good reinforcement. We are going to see another wave of, of Terran units joining the fray here in just a second. Uh, QXC will win this fight in the natural and will win this game. Finale does bounce back to win 2-1. And what was another very exciting series, QXC's playing some great StarCraft in the North American Star League. He's still winless, but he's, he's shown so many really good games against top Koreans. I feel like he is right at the cusp of making... Uh, that sort of transition into being the powerhouse player that everybody kind of predicted he would be way back in the StarCraft II beta. I agree. I agree, Ben. Um, I, I just love that how you, you, you're you pointing out the Muslim was playing well, and he did. He played phenomenally, and, it's, and no one can argue like that the Muslim, when he's at his best, when he's at his comfort zone, like when he's on his own computer, his own PC, his own settings, when everything's right, the Muslim is scary. But you said, I swear, the Muslim's not over 1,000 minerals as he was like at 1,100 minerals. So. He was max, bro. <laughs> he was max. <laughs> It was the only it time was it happened. <laughs> Don't listen to him. <laughs> Go watch the replay. Uh, really, his, his macro was it just was. incredible in that yeah. game, and anybody that watched it can attest to it. He just always had units when you really yeah. didn't think it was possible for him to have units. And watching that game uh, was a lot like watching MVP play last night in the GSL for me because MVP, another player that just always has so much. Uh, so it was, it was nice to see. Are you going to switch to Terran for this season? Man, Terran is so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's doing it, man. No, you say you're going to play all, Protoss. We're all right? switching races. Yeah, I do want to play Protoss for a season is mm. what I really okay. want to do. So, Well, uh, thank you so much, Ben. Of course, uh, again, if you guys missed those VODs and you want to catch them, you can have it on a subscriber VOD section. We have a new video part on our website. If you go to NASL.TV and click on the videos, then you'll see everything organized for our subscribers as well as maybe game one to open to all public if you want to even catch some of those on our VOD section. That's right. Go and check that out. I was actually using it today for uh, yeah. a little bit of data it's more input. convenient, yeah? It was a lot more convenient mm -hmm. than obviously uh, just rummaging through, I guess, either the Twitch VODs or even some of the YouTube uh, VODs. So check that out. It is going to be at NASL.TV. Click on videos right there.